자, 다음은 협력의 혜택, 공유, 경제 마지막 세션입니다. 앞서 오픈소스 운동에 대해서 계속해서 얘기를 해봤는데요. 아, 이번에는 오픈소스 하드웨어로 조금 더 얘기를 아, 확장시켜서 얘기를 해볼까 합니다. 모두 세 분의 연사가 나와서 유익한 이야기를 나눌 예정입니다. 먼저 오픈테크 포에버 창립자로 아, 미국 CL재단이 미래혁신가로 선정한 젊은 한인입니다. 아, 오늘 그 서울 이 포럼에서 가장 어린 연사이기도 합니다. 25살입니다. 강윤서 씨를 박수로 맞아주시기 바랍니다. 안녕하세요. So, 안녕하세요. 저는 강윤서입니다. I'm a co-founder of Open Tech Forever and a 2012 Field Fellow. Improving human communication, capability, and collaboration sets the foundation for collective empowerment in today's society. But such collaboration calls for a new set of social promises to uphold for the 21st century. Open source is a promise, a promise that sharing our knowledge, skills, and technologies will benefit all of us more than keeping secrets ever will. A promising strategy of maximizing humanity's potential and capacity to innovate and create value. Already we've seen how open source software provides users and developers the digital tools and resources they need to succeed. Now we're seeing the dawn of open source hardware, the promise to empower everyone with the information required to make tangible innovation and entrepreneurship easy. Businesses and organizations are just beginning to adopt open hardware practices, but some concerns persist. The high cost of tangible technologies, the realistic potential of learning resources for hardware, the effects of opening proprietary technologies for the competition and the bottom line. Open source hardware is clearly the future for achieving humanity's potential. The real challenge is to create a smooth transition from the current economic context. This is my story. I was born here in Seoul in 93 and moved to Canada at the turn of the century. While learning things in school as a child, I started using a computer and, ah yes, I'm feeling lucky and, oh, that's a cool video. And before I knew it, I was obsessed with battle robotics. Robotics was cool and engaging, and along the way, I picked up some basic mechanical and electrical engineering skills. After scouring hundreds of online guides, stores, and forums, it wasn't long before I started making robots at home and school. I appreciated the free online resources that made basic robotics possible for me. And what I learned with that experience shaped my life. But I had more exploring to do. In 2008, the panic amid the global recession focused my study in economics. Beyond the abstractions of economic theory, I learned about the reality inside the economy. How individuals, communities, businesses, governments interact was really about how people go to school, find and work at jobs, run businesses, pay taxes and receive benefits, and live day-to-day -day lives amid the backdrop of all the world's problems. Everyday people, unable or struggling to afford necessities, crises that concern humanity, people whose lives and rights are abused, denied, and destroyed in various ways around the world. And there I realized life wasn't just about doing cool and engaging robotics anymore. This was the real world, with real people whose real futures are shaped by all of our actions, including our own. So I began to ponder, what could I do to make things better? Out of all possible futures we can create together, which do we want to make reality? It was clear that information was a big part of the solution because knowledge illuminates uncertainty and becomes a powerful activator of possible futures. Greater access to relevant information for everyone can lead to a possible future of flourishing innovation and sustainable economic prosperity. Sharing our knowledge freely online on websites like Wikipedia was a key step in the direction. But it wasn't enough. 
the shared knowledge had to integrate into the world, be more relevant to our lives, to provide straightforward opportunities for innovation and value creation. Open source software was the beginning of this next step. Sharing programs, code, and insights provide users and developers the real tools and resources required to succeed on their projects and innovate furthermore in the field of software. Open source hardware was clearly the next step. And after seeing Marchin's TED talk on open source blueprints for civilization, I took a big risk. After graduating high school, I gave up going to university and instead went down to Missouri in the US to work with Marchin on the open source ecology project. My parents were upset, friends found it interesting, but I knew this was an opportunity that couldn't wait. High risk, but I had my hobbyist technical skills to back me up. And thus ensued a wild year of making new friends, doing open source mechanical and electrical engineering, fabrication and automated manufacturing, off-grid system development, industrial machine and vehicle operation, and more. During my time there, it became clear that open source hardware had to be more than sharing design files and hard design information. The documentation also had to explain all the tools and materials required to make a technology and show where to get them. What skills and techniques and how to train them, what basics and introductions and where to learn them, how to find and communicate with the people who need the hardware, all of this information conveyed using the best of modern digital tools to complement by projects and activities for improved skill development and retention. After I left open source ecology, I co-founded Open Tech Forever, an open source hardware cooperative with our story yet to unfold, just beginning our open collaboration for our R&D and processes. That's my story so far. Now imagine if all hardware technologies in the world had all their information freely and openly available in the best form using modern digital tools. All the designs, design considerations, manufacturing techniques, supplier information, and more. From open agriculture to construction, energy and telecom, semiconductors and advanced materials and beyond. Greater access to hardware information empowers individuals and groups to easily start and improve businesses. DIY and sharing projects become easier to do for saving costs, helping each other, and learning new things in the process. Access to quality education for modern and cutting edge industries expands its frontier outside the, outside the confines of company developers training programs and databases. And notably, innovation gains the benefits of collaborative development, where we can build upon each other's work and learn from each other's mistakes. You can help. As an individual, group, community, business, government, be more transparent and share your information online and offline. At the least, be more available and receptive to those looking for particular information about what you do. We stand to gain so much from open source software, open source hardware, and open source business model, triple combination, super, drip, super duper economy education booster. Let's develop and collaborate openly towards a crucial key for civilization's progress in the 21st century, the open source economy. Now please welcome Marcin and Katarina. <laughs> 